Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You are welcome. It's always an honor and a privilege to have you here with me on this channel. And if this is your first time seeing me or decided to click on my video, God bless you and thank you so much for stopping by. I pray that this channel will bless you tremendously. In the name of Jesus, amen. One of these three people are your kingdom spouse. One of these three people are your kingdom spouse. Now, the reason why we have a lot of issues in our relationships or in our marriage is because we have not been able to identify the kind of person that is supposed to be our kingdom spouse, the kind of person we are in a relationship with, or the kind of person we are married to. And by the mercy of God, I, my eyes got open to this and I want to share with you so that you, you are going to easily be able to identify who is your kingdom spouse among these people that are coming to you or among these people or what kind of a kingdom spouse do you have now there are three different personalities there is a, a an adam and eve relationship where you are playmates you play together you do everything together you know you operate almost on the same level there is no restriction and in that kind of a relationship you're free you're open you can demand whatsoever from your partner and vice versa and the second relationship is that of boas and ruth boas and ruth you realize that boas was um older demanded much respect from ruth and because Ruth was younger, so you know, it's that kind of relationship that has a gap. You know, you cannot be, you cannot expect a Boaz kind of person in your life to be playing around you, around the garden, to be, you know, running after you and everything. There is, you are happy in your relationship, in your marriage, but there's that gap, you know. And the last one is the kind of relationship Esther and King Ahasuerus. You know, Esther is a queen and King Ahasuerus, like we already know, is a king. So Esther is not going to demand certain things from Ahasuerus. As a matter of fact, Esther cannot see Ahasuerus every time she thinks she wants to see Ahasuerus or she desires to see him. If you have the mindset, if you know, if you know who your kingdom spouse is, the person you're in a relationship with, if they are an Ahasuerus or they are a Boaz or an Adam, it's going to help you to know how to relate with them better. You're going to give them their place and their respect and you'll have you're going to have a very free relationship a very beautiful relationship because you understand your place and you will give them their place it's going to make you have a very blissful marriage i'm going to find time to teach about this extensively so that we all learn but for today have a wonderful day shalom